What's going on, Bears fans? Coming back at you another edition of Bear Down Forever. I'm tight right now because this game, it really should have been a blowout, but things happened. It was way too many penalties, way too many penalties. Them penalties really, really killed the Bears. It took away an interception that, that, that could have been the game clincher for the Bears. And then in turn, um, the, 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 the Bears, you know, end up just in those interception. Um, I mean, yeah, he, he yeah he should have threw the ball out of bounds and everything, but I mean, it was just, oh man, it just it was it was just it was just a bad look, you know. Thirty one thirty, the missed extra point uh, is what what was the difference on the score, but um, the difference in the game, um, in my opinion, was the the penalties. We had penalties on offense. We had some killer 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 penalties on defense. The defense stepped up. To in the third quarter and and got them off the field and and they were doing their thing but I mean it was it was um it was just a, a bad look I mean the, the Lions scored 21 points in the fourth quarter man it was really a bad look Fields was 12 of 20 um um for 167 yards two touchdowns in that interception he had a hundred he I mean he had 13 rushing yards I mean 13 carries. 147 um, rushing yards. He averaged 11.3 yards per carry with a long of 67 and two touchdowns. Herbert had 10 carries for 57 yards, average of 5.7 and a long of 12. Montgomery had nine carries for 37 yards. He averaged 4.1 with a long of nine. Equinemia St. Brown had two carries for nine yards, uh, 4.5 per average, long of 10. Dante Pettis had one carry for eight yards. Cole Komet had a big game. He had four receptions, 74 yards, average 18.5, long of 50 and two touchdowns. Darnell Mooney, four for 57, average of 14.3, long of 22. Uh, Byron Pringle, one for 12. Uh, Dante Pettis, one for nine. Chase Claypool, one for eight. David Montgomery, one for seven. Now, I figured that Claypool would have a bigger game this week because he was – um in the system longer and uh you know it just it just seemed like it would it would go down like that but um apparently um that's not what happened so i mean it is what it is um so um defense justin jones had three tackles joe thomas had two tackles jaquan briska had two tackle i mean five tackles Jack Sanborn, he had a pretty, he had he had a really good game. That that interception getting taken away really because he had nine tackles and he had two sacks and he would have had an interception as well. Eddie Jackson had five tackles. Jalen Jones had one tackle. Nicholas Morrow had a good game as well. Had six tackles. Um, Jalen Johnson had four tackles. Angelo Blackson one. Dominique Robinson five tackles. He he, he was he, he he was flashing a lot on the screen as well. Mike Pinnell won, Armin Watts two, Trevin Gibson one, which has to has to has to go up. If you you're playing a defensive end, you have to make more than one tackle. I mean, it's it's imperative that you make more than one tackle. And another thing too, when they were that when the defensive um players were getting into the backfield, they couldn't cover out a quarterback. Now the same thing happened last week against Tua, but this guy cannot move like Tua can move. So, I mean, it's it's just bad. And um, Cairo Santos was one for one, a field goal. But, of course, he had the, the big extra point miss. That was the difference on the scoreboard. And it was just, it was just not a clean game for, for the Bears. And that's why they lost. And... I mean, this, like I said before, you know, my previous video um, um yesterday, the, this Detroit team will run f through a wall for their coach. Their record is not the greatest, but they have some good players on this team, and they're resilient, and they don't give up. The Bears didn't give up either, but they played sloppy football, and they left the door open for a team that's scrappy with nothing to lose to come back in against a division rival and win the game. So that's the difference in this game. So I expect for for this coming week, I expect that 
the, these things, they, they have to get cleaned. They have to get cleaned up. The Bears have to get pressure on the opposing team's quarterback. It's imperative. And they have to not get these little ticky-tack um, penalties. Now, I know the one penalty that they called on Gordon going out of bounds, which, which it was a bad penalty. He he just knocked the ball out. He did. There was no, you know, but... But I mean, then you got the the two hands to the face, and I mean, it, it just it was just a drive killer. They they were off the field. They were off the field. But it is what it is. But I'm bearing down forever, no matter what. I mean, yeah, we talk about the things that happened in the game because the games is what it is. It's in the books. It's over with. It happened. The Bears lost, and you know, so we have not won a game in our division thus far. And now three and seven on the year. And we're going to see what's going to happen. But I see good things on the horizon for this team. I do see the emergence of Cole Komet coming, which, I mean, I thought that he could definitely be um, a dominant player in this league. As, as, far, as, as far as I'm concerned, he, he, he's, showing, he's showing his dominance over these past few weeks. I mean, the, the guy's been balling out. I hope he's okay. I mean, I know he, he bumped his knee, but I hope he's all right and everything. And um, Justin Fields looks the part. Yeah, it, of course, it's things it's, it's things that every player has to work on, but you can still see the development that he's that he's that he, that's going on. The offensive line didn't look too bad, and um, but and they there's still work to be done. But I'm gonna say like this: bear down forever, cause we're gonna be here forever no matter what. So do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and you know what? Enjoy the rest of the games for, for the day. Um, all right, so um, that's it for now. All right, I'm out of here.